Good morning. Uh, welcome this morning to morning prayer. Um, it's cloudier today. Um, still a little bit nippy, but it is October. I hope this finds you well in good hearts and in good spirits. It's uh, great to be with you this morning. Um, trying to get the light a little bit right today. It's a dim outside, so I need to put the lights on indoors, or the lights on indoors. Uh, as Peter, would, Peter K would say, the big light. Um, so it gives a bit of a, it seems to be given a bit of a funny um, image at the moment. Hopefully you have the liturgy in front of you. It's from commonprayer.net, the liturgy for ordinary radicals. You can download the app um, or you can go um, online. I can't remember the app. I think you might have to pay for the app. I'm not quite sure. I, I, I had it years and years ago. Um, so I can't remember if I paid for it or not. But um, you can access it in all sorts of different ways. Just a reminder that tomorrow we have a service at Stanton at half past nine, uh, Stratton at half past nine, um, and Colview at 11 o'clock. Sadly, we don't have a, a Facebook service at, at the moment um, online, but you can join in with Bristol Cathedral, you can join in with, with many different places actually but uh, Bristol Cathedral um, the Church of England uh, have them as well um, in fact let me have a look there's a service from the Diocese of Bath and Wells and it can it's uh, going to be led by chaplains Becky Cox and Reverend Mike Haslam Mike used to be the uh, vicar in North Swindon up to about, about 10 years ago. Well, no, a bit longer than 10 years ago now. But um, so a local connection there, and that's at nine o'clock. And you can get that on the Church of England's Facebook page, YouTube channel, or website. I'll try and put a link on there. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, I will put a link on there uh, after this. So let's just have a moment of quiet as we recognise that we are in Almighty God's presence. O oh Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be for ever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. I'm going to use... Um, sorry, there's a piece of music here. Were you there? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? I guess that's what it is. Not to us, not to us, but to your name give glory. Words from Psalm 115, verses 12 to 18. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great together. 
May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heaven of heavens is the Lord's, but he entrusted the earth to its peoples. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor all those who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Alleluia. Not to us, not to us, but to your name give glory. I'm going to switch over to the lectionary um, that we normally follow. If you wish to read uh, the Old Testament reading, you can read Tobit chapter 2, that's from the Apocrypha, or 2 Chronicles 36, 11 to the end. We're going to move on to our New Testament reading, which is John 16, starting at verse 23. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly, I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming where I will no longer speak to you in figures, but will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and am going to the Father. His disciples said, Yes, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure of speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need to have anyone question you. By this we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each one to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage, I have conquered the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sue Pickering writes, it matters to us when our name is linked with anything reprehensible or we are misrepresented. Our name symbolises our distinctiveness, our character and family connections. No wonder we're told to guard against identity theft. Jesus, however, invites his disciples to use his name within the context of the new closeness with the Father through the indwelling Spirit of Jesus, to the extent they follow the Advocate, acting, speaking and thinking with the mind of Christ. His disciples will truly be praying in his name, seeking his will, not their own. When Jesus tells them the Father loves them, the disciples sees hint, see hints of the perfect joy they will know when they are deeply indwelt by the Spirit. But just as they are beginning to grasp what Jesus has been trying to show them, they are confronted by the cold truth of their impending cowardice, the priority of self-preservation, and worst of all, the abandonment of a friend. Jesus, the abandonment of their friend. Jesus hastens to assure his disciples that the Father will be there for him even if they are not. That is what he expects. 
is a poignant expectation because we know that as Jesus absorbs the evil of humankind on the cross, he will also endure a felt, a felt sense of separation from his Father. But for now, Jesus offers them hope and peace in him, rallying them to courage with his emphatic, I have conquered the world. We pray. God, our light and our salvation, illuminate our lives that we may see your goodness in the land of the living and look on your beauty. May be changed and looking on your beauty may be changed into the likeness of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. bit of a warning there for the disciples uh, faced with the reality but Jesus continues to reassure them he understands uh, that human weakness he's trying to bring them comfort before they encounter what they are going to encounter he's trying to bring he wants to bring them peace Not to us, not to us, but to your name give glory. In Jesus' name. Second century bishop Melito of Sardis wrote, Nature trembled and said with, his, with astonishment, What new mystery is this? The judge is judged and remains silent. The invisible one is seen and does not hide himself. The incomprehensible one is comprehended and does not resist. The immeasurable one is measured and does not struggle. The one beyond suffering suffers and does not avenge himself. The immortal one dies and does not refuse death. What new mystery is this? Mystery of the cross the wonder of God's love the extent that he shows us that love we turn to our time of prayer and I'm going to try something today um, which involves going onto a website going to Bible Gateway I could just go and get my Bible, which is over there, but I've got my tablet here. And I'm going to turn to Psalm 23. And I'm going to read through Psalm 23. And then I'm going to use it as the basis of our intercessions this morning. So let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. Dear Father, we thank you for your word. 
We thank you for your teachings. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us to show us how to live in your kingdom. We pray, dear Father, that we will look to you. We pray, dear Father, that as we go about our daily daily lives, as we go about the things that we do, we will keep our eyes focused on you and your will that we will follow your word. We pray as individuals and as a community, a flock together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the things you have blessed us with. Whatever they may be. Things that we experience now, things we've experienced in the past. For the times, Lord, when we, we have felt the sunshine on our backs. We thank you, dear Father, for the fact that a lot of us have food to eat. Homes to keep us warm and safe. We give you thanks and praise, Lord for all that you have bestowed upon us. And we pray, Lord, that we will be a thankful people. We thank you, dear Father, for those that we're surrounded by. We thank you, dear Father, for those on whom we depend for our daily needs. You help bring us comfort who help provide your blessings to us. We pray, Lord, that we will be a thankful people. We pray, Lord, that we, in turn, will be a blessing to others. In your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Lord is my shepherd. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Lord, we pray as your people. We pray for the unity of your church that we will walk down those right paths of righteousness and justice. And we pray, dear Father, that we will do things in your name which shine your light in this world. We pray, dear Father, that we will not take your name in vain or do things which others will look at and which will not glorify your name. Fill us with your spirit, dear Father. Fill us with your peace as conqueror of the world. And we lift before you those who offer leadership in the church. Give them wisdom and guidance, energy and inspiration. But help us to remember, Lord, that we all have a part in praising your name and glorifying your name in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Lord is my shepherd. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, 
I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We pray, dear Father, for all those who are struggling this day in body, mind or spirit. For all of those who feel as though they are walking through the darkest valley. For all those who are wondering whether they can take the next step. For all those unable to take the next step. For those who do not feel your peace at this time, we pray for places around the world that do not know your peace. And we pray for your intervention and your love to flow through those places. We pray for our communities and those in our communities whose homes are not safe places and not full of peace. We pray for deliverance and safety. And we lift before you, dear Father, those who are on our hearts, who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. We pray for Mark, Addie, William, Pauline, Linda, Stuart, Beryl, Eunice, George, Bob, John, Mary, Jordan, Mary, Wendy, John, Janet, Annette, Jim, Joe and the family, John, Liz, Dave and the family, Daniel, Peter, Alvin and their family, Shane, Tilly, Jan, Linda and her family, Chris, Anna, Mary, Martina and Trodor and their family, Andy, Anne, Sarah, Nicholas, Martin, Pat, Jeff and Hilary, Tom, Esme, Nilva and her family, Len, John and Val, Peter and Bridget, Ken, Rose, Barbara, Sylvia, Gwen, Christine, Greg, Stephanie and their family, Josie, the Curtis family, Leslie, Angie, Anne and Angela. We pray, dear Father, as they walk through a dark valley. We pray, dear Father, that they may have courage, wholeness, and your peace, that they may find your comfort, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Dear Father, we thank you that you promise that us such riches, that you know the number of hairs on our head. that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We thank you, dear Father, that you listen and that when we speak in Jesus' name, you respond. Help us always to remember your goodness and your love. Help it to bring us comfort assurance help fill us with your spirit Lord to increase our faith our reliance on you Lord in your mercy hear our prayer the Lord is my shepherd Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dear Father, we pray that we may know your peace this day, and your assurance that even beyond this world, a world in which we find such blessings and love, but also suffering and pain, there is a heavenly dwelling place that you have promised for us, a heaven, heavenly dwelling place that has been opened to us through your grace, through the sacrifice of your Son on the cross and the love shown and the mighty resurrection. We pray, dear Father, that will be a lantern to our feet and a light to our paths. And for those suffering this day, dear Father, for those mourning and those with heavy hearts, we pray that they will know the comfort and love that you offer and the promise of a place with you where there is no more tears, pain or suffering. And we praise your name this day and forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the light of the morning, Lord, we glorify your name. May the mystery of your incarnation shine through the complexities of this day so that in all we do, your name may, might be praised. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray using whichever version, language, or um, uh, yes, whichever version you feel most comfortable with. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, halfway through the intercessions, um, my wife and Lily came home 
um, from Lily's swimming lesson and uh, the cat obviously came in with them and she's making her presence felt as you can see now um, I thought that was wonderful today how it talks about glorifying Jesus name and the reading from the lectionary was about uh, doing things in Jesus name to give him to give God glory um, so the two even though they were kind of separate they were very very much kind of together I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I hope you feel God's blessings in all that you do and uh, remembering that he is our shepherd and that he promises to be with us even through those uh, dark places so may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. God bless you and keep you and have a wonderful day and shall see you soon. Take care. God bless. <laughs>